Hey, I'm Sean Drover Megadeth. Welcome to ddrum.com. Feel free to check the site out. It's awesome. I get into drums um, when I was really young, probably about 1970, I was about 10 or 11, and I heard um, All the World's a Stage by Rush. I heard stuff before I was into rock, before Queen was a big thing for me. But when I heard that, uh, I'd never heard anything like that before. You know, the way Neil plays and stuff on that record and everything afterwards and stuff. So I just became obsessed with Rush and Neil Peart, and, uh, and then I wanted to be a drummer. Not to emulate him so much, but I just the whole thing of just the whole everything with drumming just I became obsessed with it you know all my everyone in my family my brothers and my father all play guitar and which is neat but somehow instead of taking up guitar I just gravitated towards drums right away after I heard Neil and uh, it just went from there I soon after I think I got my first kit when I was 13 cool. you know crappy probably the worst kit in the world that I'm sure you have one of those too uh, and just went you know played in bands with my brother for all throughout high school and carried on to present day and stuff. I just, that's kind of where it started, you know, when I was about, probably about 11 or 12. Cool. First of all, the quality of the, of the instrument is awesome. That's obviously, that's first. If it was a subpar quality, why would I switch from my previous company to go over to something else? You know, that wouldn't sure. make any sense, right? With, uh, with D-Drum, right off the bat, I just noticed it was a real personal thing and uh, they just seemed to take the time to listen to what I wanted and had to say and that was pretty refreshing and, and, and uh, I thought it was very cool so uh, it didn't take me much to come over here you know once again once I found out that the, the quality of the instrument is second to none in my opinion then everything else is icing on the cake so it's uh, really glad to be here it's been great well I'm using the the ash kit and I've used a couple of different uh, kits as you know and uh, I, I think they all sound great but for what I do uh, in Megadeth this seems to project the best um, it's loud, it's, it's very warm sounding, but it projects, you know, really projects well. And uh, those, you know, they have great tonality. Just everything that I, would, I want in a drum it has. So this is my favorite kit that D-Drum has. But like I said, they're all, I think they're all great. Snare is, is this snare, I mean, I've, and again, I've used a lot of snares, a lot of different snares with D-Drum. This, as soon as I started playing this sucker, it's the loudest snare I've ever used in my life. Um, but it sounds fantastic. It's got the it's got a, a warm tone, but it's got that punch. It just it's just got such a it's unbelievable how loud it is. But it's got such a great tonality to it that I, I just fell in love with it right away. You know that as soon as I started yeah, playing definitely. it. So, and that's uh, the the aluminum snare. Correct? Yes, it is. Okay. And uh, I I won't play. This is my favorite snare, the best one. Until you guys make something better, this is the one I'll continue to use. So awesome. I think it's fantastic. Bass drum pedals is uh, interesting because I was actually the guinea pig for that. At the NAMM show, uh, you guys had, I think you had four or five pedals, yeah, whatever it was. Yeah. So I told, uh, actually I told you and, and uh, Elliot, I said, look, let me, let me test for, we're getting ready to go on tour in, uh, in Europe. So let me test run them, you know, see how they work, see if they're durable, and I'll, I'll let you know if they're good, if they suck, or, I, <laughs> right. you know, I love them or hate them, right? So right. Uh, 
I hooked them up and I, I swear I didn't, I barely had to tweak them, you know, just adjusted the, the spring tension on it and that was it. I never, they were smooth and durable, I mean very durable, obviously I haven't had one issue with them, but I think I've been using them since, well since February, right after the NAMM show, I jumped on a plane with the Finland, so. Uh, I can't say that's essential for me, it's not only having a good product, you know, it's obviously beneficial to have a good product, but also a very uh, stable and durable product. If things keep breaking on the road and you're in Iceland, <laughs> right. it kind of sucks, right? So I haven't had any issues with it and I can't say enough about that. I just think it's, a, it's got a nice smooth glide to it and uh, it's really not much else I can say, it's a, it's a great pedal.